Hiya, my name's Charlie and welcome to my channel. And today I'm going to be doing the Stand With Trans Kids book tag. And the original tag was made and created by the lovely Leo, um, Leo Bancroft. I will put um, links in the description down here and also in the card up there. So go and click on his channel. Um, he's just wonderful. I just think he's brilliant. Um, yeah. So yeah, I was tagged by Bob, Bob, the, Bob the Booker, um, who is also a lovely um, creator on this platform. And um, yeah, so yeah, thank you for tagging me, Bob. <laughs> the first question said, I'm going to just dive right in. The first question is, um, tag some fabulous friends who may want to do this tag. So the first um, channel which I've chosen to tag is um, the gorgeous Victoria from What Victoria Read. Um, and the second I've picked is De um, Charlotte from Desperately Seeking Charlotte. Then I've got obviously Charlie, um, Char I'm never going to go a video without talking about Charlie, um, Charles Heathcote um, and obviously and the gorgeous Gaia Athena. So all those channels in the description um, down below. Um, if you want to do this tag, please do. Um, <laughs> but, um, number two is tell us about some books on your on your TBR pile featuring trans slash non-binary characters um, or non-fiction about trans slash non-binary stuff. So the books on my um, TBR pile are, this is just a few of them, um, so I've got, um, I'm going to list them kind of in category order, I've got YA, I've got um, Going Off Script and also I want um, uh, by Jen Wilde and also I want to read Queen of Geek by Jen Wilde. Um, they are an autistic author as well, so that's something as well that's sort of close to my heart. So, uh, the many half-lived lives of Sam Sylvester, who is also, I believe the author is also autistic, and also you've got an ace main, main character in this book. Uh, the next one I um, want to read is Stay Gold by Tobley Smith, McSmith, sorry, Tobley McSmith. I've got um, The Parcel by um, Anosh Arani, this is an adult book I believe um, and I think it's by an Indian author I, I think um, yeah but it's like I, I can't remember the premise of it but I remember when I heard about it it was just like immediately I was like adding it straight to my wish list so yeah that's one and the net last like handful of them well not handful quite a few of them um, would, um, are non-fiction because I, I love reading a bit of non-fiction and I haven't really read as much non-fiction this year as I really would have wanted to so um, these are Tomorrow Will Be Different by Sarah McBride then Sissy, by, uh, which is a coming of age gender story, which I just love, uh, sound of, um, uh, by Jacob Tobiah. That's been on my wish list for quite a while. So I've also got Trans Like Me by um, CN Lester, um, In Their Shoes by Jamie Windust, um, and also uh, Beyond the Gender Binary by Alok Bain Menon. So yeah, those are some of the ones um, that are on my wish list that I want to get to soon. So number three is recommend a favourite book or a show or a movie featuring a trans non-binary character. So I'm going to go the bookish option because that is what I know a lot of, well, read more about. So um, I'm going to, I've broken it down into sections again. So the YA um, books, I'll start with the ones um, that I haven't got my physical copies of right here because like this, some of them are upstairs. I've got Heartstop, the Heartstopper series obviously by Alice Osman. Um, I love um, all their books and I just think they're brilliant. Um, these are like, I've got some um, like graphic, more graphic novels. I've got um, by Kay O'Neill, which is the Tea Dragon Society, which I know loads of people have heard about the Tea Dragon Society, um, which kind of, this features a like a range of um, characters. It's also got, got disability rep in all the series as well. Good, good disability rep in it, which is another thing I love about it. Um, but they've also, which I don't know whether everyone's heard about, um, have, um, uh, this book out which is Princess Princess Ever After and um, I just love this book it's just so gorgeous and it's yeah I don't I haven't had many people on booktube talking about Princess Princess um, Ever After so and it's yeah love story between these two girls and I just think it's utterly gorgeous and the colours are gorgeous and it's not really long but yeah Strange Worlds Travel Agency by L.D. Lipinski this is just a middle grade book and it's so much fun it's yeah, it's main character, trans main character as well, um, and the author's non-binary, and it's just gorgeous, so much fun. I have, there's three, two other books out, which I haven't actually read yet, but yeah, we need to get to those, but yeah, wonderful little series. And Casing, Casing Calendar, I've got two Casing Calendars on um, this list. Um, 
uh, King of the Dragonflies. This is another, it's, I think this is a young adult. I don't know whether you'd class it as why, because there is quite heavy topics of like grief and stuff in this as well as um, the queer elements. But yeah, this is a very gorgeous book. Um, and we've got Pet by Akoki Mezzi that everyone knows about, um, and the, a trans main um, character as well. And this is just gorgeous, um, sort of sci-fi-ish. Um, and yeah, I don't, I don't know a single person that has read and not loved Pet. Like I know you're going to see loads of Akoki Mezzi's books on here as well. Sorry. A collection of short stories, Proud. Um, this is a uh, compiled by Juno Dawson, um, and th this is just brilliant. There's um, different, loads of different. Um, again, not all of the authors are trans, but it's very. It's a, but there are um, trans authors in here, and there's also um, uh, like illustrators, and it's got like so much in this and I definitely want like more people to pick this up so yeah this is a wonderful little collection so Cemetery Boys by Aidan Thomas this is like one of my favorite books this is like a book that I would hug because I just love 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 this book um this book made me cry when I read it in um in places it was just so gorgeous there's so much to this book and <laughs> um, there's a there was a discussion in this book um between the what uh, the main character and their mum which just then they were talking about their pronouns and it just literally brought tears to my eyes it was just so beautiful um and yeah just so this is just like one of my favorite books and it's not it's it's a romance but it's also magical realism it's it's, it's hard to put this books in a book book in a box <laughs> so um one category so yeah and also the author i just um found out this week is right currently writing or is right in the process of writing cemetery boys 2 so I am gagged for that. That is just so brilliant news. Um, yeah. And also in the UK, if you guys are in the UK, it's actually being published. So you'll, you'll get a whole new edition at the end of the year, I think. So, yeah. The death, next one is The Death of Viv 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 Vivic Oji, another um, Emezi. It's one of my favourites. It's another book that I would hug because this book is just utterly, utterly gorgeous. And it, yeah, I love it. And the, one of the latest books that I've read by Emezi is You Made a Fool of Death with Your Beauty. This is going to be in my wrap up in a, the next thing. This is um, a romance, but it talks, uh, like I, as I knew when I was like before going into this, it talks about so much more. It's um, a really great discussion on grief and trauma. Um, this was just beautiful, um, as I knew it would be. And also, but it's very, very saucy. Lots and lots of sex in it. <laughs> but yeah, great, great, great book. On to some poetry. I've got, um, this is one, another one I read this month, Holy Wild by Gwen Benaway. Um, so this is, um, uh, like, this is a very confronting collection. And um, one of my favourite ones in this, again, I think it, no, this one, my favourite poem in this, um, even though it's quite a few, because this is just like such a great collection, was um, one called Dysphoria, which so, I just feel like, again, it's a, yeah, it's beautiful. I just love this book, this, this um, poetry collection. This really, really moved me. So, um, I get, can't mention poetry without mentioning Dene Dene Smith. Hey Me by Dene Smith. And then and the next one I can't um, is um, De uh, Don't Call Us Dead by Dene Smith. This is quite a famous poetry collection. Um, it's very, very raw and it's just gorgeous. Non-fiction we're on to is Finding Nevo by Nevo Zivin. This is a wonderful non-fiction about um, them growing up and um, what it's like to be trans and growing up in Australia. Um, talk, the best section in this was when um, they talked about periods and the brutalness of them and um, the way they described it I just thought was something I haven't really read about in a books in not, in, not um, very much so yeah this is just this, just, this is a really really good 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 book. Last one is a collection, but this is one of my ones I recommend. Is um, non-binary lives, um, an anthology of intersecting se se intersecting identities, um, and this is edited by Joe's Twist, Ben um, Vincent, Meg John Barker, and Kat Gupta. This has loads and loads of different authors and loads of different experiences, and it is it's definitely worth checking out. Um, everyone has their own journey, and no one demographic is a monolith. Recommend a book that has a journey, however you define that. And I'm going to recommend Me, My Dad at the End of the Rainbow by Benjamin Dean. This is a middle grade book and it's just so gorgeous. It's We follow Archie who is um, and knows that his parents are arguing and, based, and, and that they're keeping a secret from him and he doesn't know, quite know what that is. Um, and 
this leads him to go on a journey to London with a group with some of his friends and they um are they basically end up joining like pro like spoilers they end up like going joining in, to, in with pride and there's drag queens in it and it's just so gorgeous so yeah I highly recommend this book and also I've got um Benjamin Dean's latest middle grade on my shelf I'll reach over and grab the sunshine project um uh, so yeah I'm excited to read that so, yeah none of us know know everything even about our own identities especially since we're not a monolith and have each have our own journey which book taught you something that either about yourself or about the world around you right so the book i'm going to say for this prompt is she called me women nigeria's queer women speak and um, it's an essay collection by 25 um nigerian with queer queer nigerian women um including um trans women i think and like the spectrum and it's basically said taught me like about um their experiences of um being queer in queer in Nigeria, obviously it's illegal to be queer in Nigeria. Um, it's a brilliant collection. <laughs> so um, yeah, just highly, highly, highly recommend this. And I remember it's, it is a few years ago since I have read this, but it's really it is like I, I mean, so I will need to give it a reread. But um, yeah, it, it just really I remember mo being moved by the stories, and it really made me think. And obviously, it opened my eyes to the situation that I didn't know very much about. So yeah, that's my answer for that one. Things. Um, are hard in the world in our lives sometimes there are things we can do to help center or refocus ourselves to bring joy keep us going keep, to keep living resisting and being our authentic amazing selves what things do you do to center yourself or to find joy and um, so for me obviously like having time with my family and um, we play a load of board games together we always like I love hanging out with them, we would laugh. Um, I also love when the weather is nice, going for um, bike rides with my husband, that that sort of like, is a big like centering thing. Um, and reading, reading is obviously my biggest um, passion. And yes, so I'd probably say that. Also, um, like anything with like set, like, like scented, so like lighting a candle or um, having a nice hot um, warm bath with, um, like I, lo good, I lo love a good lush bath I'd say that um, they are things that help centre and calm me so yeah for that I would say that what's your walk-on music or your feel at home in your body music and for this my answer is I've got three songs and I'm gonna go for um, Not Throwing Away My Sharp by Hamilton it's got anything like Hamilton the Hamilton soundtrack always kind of like gets me like g'd up and feeling like good I just love that that soundtrack as I'm sure the rest of you guys do um, I've also got um, the Boo, Boo Radleys, Wake Up by the Boo Radleys. Um, that that song is just like if you guys, I'm gonna put I'll put links to the songs in the description as well actually, um, so you can you can hear it as well. Um, yeah, I love that song. It just gets me getting up. And when the kids were little, in particular, I used to play that song over and over again, <laughs> just sort of getting get up, wait to get us um, like in the right headspace and just to set us off for the day, right? So yeah. Um, and then also another song which I completely adore is um, Juice by Lizzo. Um, I cannot hear that song without dancing. And um, my kids have played it in their car and I've looked, <laughs> it's hard. Like you just want to like pop the steering wheel. I, um, and when we were driving home one day, when we got into my street, into my street when there was no one around, I was popping the steering wheel a little bit. And my, as we were just driving into the, like the garagey bit and um, my neighbour saw her and it was really a little bit embarrassing, but um, yeah, hey ho. <laughs> I love that song. Um, yeah. Uh, so, uh, finding mentors and wisdom. Uh, people finding mentors, people of wisdom, or heroes can be another way to help us navigate life. Who are some of your mentors, and share some of the things that something they've taught you or inspired you to learn about more about? I will say the biggest influence probably for this answer is my mum. She's she che she teaches me all, um, and inspires me all the time and. Um, genuinely she's like life isn't always easy for her but she's always encourages me to sort of keep going and be positive um and yeah she's just brilliant I love my mum she's just the best um and she sort of teaches me to embrace my childliness a bit more I think which is never a bad thing and also another big influence which I know she's not going to be watching so I can say this my old boss um Jane she um like I learned so so much from her she was like uh, she's she's she she really 
she tried to get me to, tick to stop saying sorry as much because if you guys don't know me um i am constantly apologizing with myself trying to uh, like pull pull that side of me like stop <laughs> to to not be like no you don't apologize for who you are like again so um yeah she was just she's just she's just the best like i love my old boss she's brilliant then um, so yeah anyway so that's my answer for that and um, probably in truth so i mean there are probably there are loads of people that inspire me in, in the world but in terms of my actual physical human life um uh, yeah those are the two people i'm gonna give the answer to um right um right the next one is shout out some trans non-binary booktubers instagrammers authors actors who you'd like to shout out so this person I'm going to I'm going, the first person I'm going to shout out is someone who I've only been watching like this this week, um, and that is um, Kebby from Say Kebby, yes, um, <laughs> and she's just brilliant. I discovered her by when I was watching a video. From, I'm going to try and find it. Um, I discovered um, Kebby's channel when I was watching a video last Saturday um, by um, Gunpowder Gunpowder Fiction and Plot um, Nails and Nails and Scott's channel. And they were doing a panel discussion on banned books, and um, there was loads of good booktubers in that in that um, in that discussion. That uh, that whole discussion in itself, um, you guys should um, watch. It's an amazing discussion. But yeah, I found Kevy's um, channel um, from there, and she's just an utter delight. Um, I've been watching her all week. She's been doing loads of Pride video videos this week, and like. Yeah, the yeah the first video, one of the first videos I watched um, from her was um, getting gay with NetGalley, and basically she was going through all her NetGalley rec um, recommendations, like recommendations, and I basically wrote down like I feel like I wrote down virtually every single um, book that she recommended there, and I just love her laugh. There was another <laughs> there's um, been another video that she put up yesterday, which was Kevy performs Diva by Sarah Silverman, and the last like like tw like. 30 seconds or whatever of that literally I was literally in stitches I was I was laughing out loud and like honestly like she's just brilliant like I can't like not mention her even though I've only just been subscribed to her like she's just brilliant so yeah I'm gonna mention that's obviously the first person I'll mention um yeah the next um booktuber I'm going to shout out about um is Jessie from Bowties and Books like I adore their channel like I've been watching them for it feels like the longest time and um, since early door, like relatively early doors in my booktube like ness so yeah and and um they're just brilliant they do have such a variety of videos they do serious videos like discussion videos and they do funny videos they've got a one that they've um with their dog at cash up which is just hilarious and um, and it's just like i just think that they have got the right balance of like again humor and um like knowledge and obviously as as does Kevy, um but yeah you everyone everyone should be subscribed to jesse because they're just like one of my favorite booktube staples anyway so yeah um uh the next one another booktuber i've got two more booktubers i'm going to talk about um in petrol pages um I, i'm really really bad i watch their channel all the time and i don't comment which i know as a now now i'm making content again i should be commenting more um but um yeah they they are such a great um like booktuber they recommend so many new releases in particular of um trans um like non-binary books and they're just brilliant so like I'm, i feel like i'm always adding books to my tbr again from them so um yeah highly 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 recommend add. and the next booktuber i'm going to talk about is bear from a2 brody a2 brody brody um they're not currently um online at the moment due to personal reasons but they're just a wonderful wonderful channel and I've been watching them again for like a good like couple of years I think Um I think that's right <laughs> it feels like the last few years have gone into like the melt out obviously but yeah um they're just brilliant Um I love all their videos their recommendations are really good they're just again they're not they're, they're a bit cheaper with a load of heart as well Um as well as again loads of knowledge and stuff like that so yeah and I I, I really think again all of these um channels just need way more subscribers so then go and subscribe to all these brilliant booktubers um shout it i'm going to, like, so the charity i want to shout out is mermaids which um helps um gender diverse kids and young people and their families and my family in particular has um had um experiences with mermaids and 
um they are just the most wonderful charity the um we like i yeah i've um the people on the phone lines are just um just amazing and just um I, yeah it's just like it saved our family seriously like they were just so brilliant like words can't like I can't put into words how much mermaids has helped my family so um it's gonna get me emotional all my days I'm not gonna get emotional it's right but no so yeah mermaids um I highly highly recommend uh, mermaids as a charity I love them I think they're brilliant everyone that works for that charity is amazing yeah it's gorgeous it's brilliant and I'm not gonna get upset but I'm gonna put all the links in the description so yeah um, thank you guys for watching and um, if you made it this far thank you so much um uh sending you guys lots of love and yeah um sending, sending you guys lots of love and yeah see you um next week so bye